Hello, I'm Andrew Robson, British columnist of The Times, and every single day from this coming Monday, you're going to have Animated Bridge, my daily bridge column come to life, and this is by way of a taster. Now, we see we see North opening 2 no Trump, 20 to 22 balanced, pass from East. Now, what would you do with a South hand? Fabulous looking hand, six club winners. Might bid six clubs, but I rather like South's actual bid. This deal comes from the Crockford's Cup final. South bid six no trumps. And the merit of bidding six no trumps is that an opponent is far less likely to find an aggressive lead of, say, a, a, an ace or lead from a king uh, than they would against uh, six clubs. So even if the opponents have a cashing ace king, they might not find it. So six no trumps says south, pass from west, pass from north. This is a lesson in greed. East knows that six no trumps is going to go down. East is on lead with the cashing ace king of spades and so can obviously win the first two tricks. What East should do is pass and cash those two winning tricks. But what East actually does, succumbing to greed, is doubles. Well, in an attempt to convert plus 50 into plus 100, see what happens. South realises what's going on and makes sure that he declares by running to seven clubs. Pass, pass, and now East, who's not on lead and feeling distinctly less happy about that turn of events, still doubles. Hopefully, partner can find a spade lead. Pass, pass, pass. Well, you could argue whether or not West should find a spade lead, but opening leads blind, never easy, and West, in practice, chose to lead top of their sequential heart. So 10 of hearts was led. Let's see how play progresses. 13 tricks still look a long way away. See what happens. Declara won the first trick with dummies queen. And Declara cashed the ten of trumps. And then at the third trick, Declara cashed the king of hearts. He actually had to do this to unblock one of the high hearts from the dummy, risking that an opponent would trump. You'll see why shortly. He then played out a top down, and just in case the queen was singleton, nothing interesting happened there. Now came the second trump to his hand. And then a third trump, throwing a spade away. And now he's going to rumble his trumps. He's going to need uh, the dam and finesse to work to make 12 tricks, but he's still a trick short. See what happens, however. East throws away an encouraging spade. Why didn't you lead a spade, partner? And now comes Declara's penultimate trump. Can you see what Declara is going to throw from the dummy on the final trump? Away goes the ace of hearts. And East has to throw away a high spade because East has to guard the diamonds. If East throws away a diamond... Then via a finesse of dummies jack and cashing the king, Declara will score a trick with dummies three of diamonds. So away goes a high spade. Now because Declara has thrown away the ace of hearts from the dummy, he can now play the jack of hearts from his hand. And this brings about the fatal squeeze. What can East discard? If East discards a diamond, then the aforementioned finesse of the jack followed by the king and then the three will bring the Grand Slam home. So, in practice, East has to throw away the Ace of Spades in the hope that West can guard the Spades, that West holds the uh, Ten of Spades. So away goes the Ace of Spades, but what Declara does is he cashes the Ten of Spades. And now... Finesse is the King... Finesse is the jack of diamonds and cash is the king. Actually, funnily enough, Declare's four of spades was good. 
but the finesse succeeded and so all was well and that was a very very exciting deal 13 tricks making east regret his greed his desire for 50 extra points had cost him a grand slam worth about 2,000 points. What an amazing deal. See you on Monday.